It is moving. I'm not cooking. <laughs> what? A little piece of dirt just went. <laughs> I wonder if it pushed it up. You would see me kick it or would you? It comes flying out. <laughs> <laughs> Bird fly out of here, and I don't know if you can see it, but. It's a nest with eggs. I don't want to touch it or anything around it, but that is just so cool. My things will be attracted to it. That's the first we've seen with a magenta center, hot pink center. This is a massive tree. Mom for scale. It's massive. <laughs> That's crazy. God, I wonder how old that it's is. It's huge. Look how tall that sucker was. Oh my gosh. It's like a black eyed Susan version. Yellow leaves, black inside. Pink leaves, black inside. I look just absolutely disgusting, and I smell even worse. We had a super pleasant morning, knocked out over six miles in like three hours. It was completely flat and took our time and saw some new flowers, new fauna and stuff, just super, super pretty. A bunch of, oh, I thought you were farther back. <laughs> and it was just like walking along a little creek the whole time, so pretty. But we're not sure how far we're gonna hike today. Somewhere between 10 and 16. Oh, there's a shelter. I feel like today's coming way too easy. You keep saying a thousand miles. Well, we do have a thousand miles. Yeah, we actually have more than that, but it's not too crazy, but. Ugh. But yeah, we had a really nice morning. That sunset is just like so spectacular. And what made it even better is I got to watch it from inside my comfy, comfy tent with two sleeping pads <laughs> that I'm not at all regretting picking up that extra 10 ounces, but whatever. And I have my stupid down pants that I still have. And my shelter's got picnic table. There is a picnic table. I'm sure it's covered in Noro. I don't want to get too close. Looks like some black death nonsense happening in here. What is this? Weather shelter tornado. What? Man, this thing is like jank. Oh my gosh. Ew. Yeah. This is like... It's all rotten. There's mud and shit. There's like exposed nails. <laughs> yep. Glad that we uh, skipped out on this thing. Not that we would have stayed it in anyway, but... What does it say about tornadoes? It's this picture of a tornado and it says weather shelter. We're really sad about this tree that's been cut in half, but it is still... There's flowers on it and they're all blooming. And it's the last bloom of this tree ever. That's sad. It is sad. It makes me very sad. But this bloom... We'll live on 
forever on YouTube. Rest in peace, little tree. Just light and fire so the bugs go away as one flies directly into my freaking eye. <laughs> Lunch time. It's too hot outside, so we got a shady place and then lit a fire. At, <laughs> at Kale Gap, so it's healthy. We're gonna go kale hunting. Oh yeah, and there's a bunch of flowers down there. It reminds me of Mima. Like yellow flowers. So we're climbing up this big mountain called Bluff Mountain and I know something that it doesn't know that I know. I know that once you get up to the top, which is a thousand feet up, there's no view, which is probably why it's called Bluff Mountain. It's just bluffing. And then guess what? Guess what? What? We get to go all the way down. Oh yeah. But there's lots of switchbacks. Why does this tree have hair on it? We must know. Someone tell us. If it's channel water. Water, you think? Yeah. Rain. I just get anyway. Maybe it's to keep parasitic bugs from getting on it. I think it's because it's pretty. <laughs> Do you remember Blood Mountain? Yes. Remember how long ago Blood Mountain was? Yeah. I feel like I'm a different person. Yeah. <laughs> You're just gonna buy new stuff? Don't get poison ivy. Well, that rolled like hardcore. You want your stick? Huh? Mm -hmm. That's not what I was in the mood to do. You like my misery, don't you? Yeah. It's, I, Cause I just could see that happening to me, and I'm just glad it didn't. Do you want help? I, I hate for you to put your phone down. <laughs> and help your old mom. <laughs> <laughs> idea. <laughs> Javelin. Your guns look pretty good. <laughs> I think this is the top. Well, sometimes gut hooks marks slight ups as downs. So, we're just counting ourselves lucky. It's not as... Actually, no. I'm not even going to pretend like Bluff Mountain was actually a big deal. It's not. It All you see is blue. <laughs> Whatever. Bluff. It's been good, but now you're over. Bluff should be called Bug Mountain. Oh.
Snow White, that little thing. Mm -hmm. Be free. <laughs> <laughs> different Snow White. Different, different Snow White. <laughs> It was on my freaking head. It's huge. Trucking pole for size. It's huge. What is it? It has like a stinger on it. Oh, I don't think it's a bee. Time where the roof is not your friend. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we were just talking about how <laughs> we were like, wow. It's so early, like we're not done for the day. Like we should just keep going. It'll be our first like 16 mile day. And then, <laughs> and then I hear thunk. <laughs> and mom goes, yeah. And if it were gonna be any day, it'd be today because today has been really boom. And then she falls. I turn around and she's face down <laughs> on the trail, like hands underneath her <laughs> with her trekking poles just straight up to the side. <laughs> And I was like, oh my god, like, it's flat. flat. And I go, oh my god, are you okay? And, you know, I help her up, all of that. And then I was like, oh, did you hit your knees? And she goes, no, but they're so swollen, it probably just bounced off. <laughs> I think my cheek is swollen. It's amazing how you can fall with a backpack this heavy and not even hurt yourself. <laughs> That's the second time. <laughs> it's like you just bounce. <laughs> That is too fun. I mean, I'm glad you're not hurt. I wouldn't be laughing if you were hurt, obviously. But mm -hmm. I didn't. I didn't grab my camera and start shooting you. That's the first thing I thought when I looked up. <laughs> I thought there's gonna be a camera in my face. I know it. <laughs> no, I wouldn't do that. You're you finishing this hike is way more important to me than getting a funny shot of you splattered on the ground. <laughs> well, it's just funny because you were in the middle of saying how great today is. <laughs> And then, yeah, true irony. Very ironic. <sighs> Big Rock Spring. I don't hear water, though. It's probably lies. See all these freaking bugs still everywhere? Bluff Mountain, so they're still lying. Yep. Things. Every sign's a bluff. There's no water over there. Bears are a myth. <laughs> A big drop off down there. Such a pretty meadow. We have not seen a meadow. Twin snakes and runts. Gonna get us up this mountain. What you got? Skittles. <gasps> oh my god, what the f <laughs> oh did you see how close it was hovering? It was like hovering right at me. That's a bug. It's a bee. They sting. <laughs> what a bee! It was a bumblebee. No, it was. It was right in front of my face. You want some candy? I'm dripping sweat. At six o'clock, it's like not even hot out. Woo! We're chasing our biggest mileage day yet. Woohoo! <sighs> 16.6 when it's all said and done. And uh, about 13 miles in, my legs started chafing, so I'm wearing insulated leggings. Yeah! It's freaking hot! <laughs> I can't express how humid it is. It's so humid. I'm wearing insulated leggings. I want to die. I mean, that what did sound like a man going rawr, right? Like a bear wouldn't sound like that. Mm -hmm. I don't know why a bear would be out here right now. Yeah, it's too humid. There's a lot of bugs. <laughs> Bears would hate that. Yeah, if there were water, hmm? if there were water, I would want to stay. Even though I just saw the biggest spider that I've seen out here yet. 
we're 15 miles in, which is almost the biggest. We did 15.1, so it's like the same, but ugh, my feet are screaming. They've been screaming for about 14 miles now. I remember because I put my shoes on this morning and I started, I had to like stretch immediately against the tree because uh, my arches were hurting. Mm -hmm. well, we, got, we can technically sit here for, for 45 minutes and <laughs> have daylight to set the pan up. Mm. So let's just uh, sit for a minute and then we'll slow down. We've been hoofing it. It takes 10 minutes to get a tent up. I can do it in the dark anyway if, it, if I can use your headlamp, so. We're fine to rest. So. But here come the bugs. Oh, I bust my fan face. <laughs> that would actually be really great. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and you were making fun of me earlier because I was scared of that bee. <laughs> Yeah, so 16.6 mile day, my feet are screaming, I don't want to go on, and then right as I'm like, you know, this isn't that bad, like, my feet are starting to get with the program, I get stung in the neck oh, by a freaking bee. <sighs> Just like the AT, you're complaining about one sort of pain that you have, and then it switches it all up on you, and you have an entirely new, unexpected, spontaneous kind of pain that you really never accounted for. So, thanks AT. Always putting things in perspective. That is a Bob Ross painting and the happy little trees. <laughs> It's always the last half mile that sucks. Except today, the last four miles have sucked. <laughs> but that's okay, because there's a difference between temporary suckage and permanent suckage. So, I just need to get this dang shirt off and put a cold rag on my... I don't really have a rag, do I? Mine's covered in pesto. <laughs> I've tried so hard to correct this bad farmer's tan, and now I'm pink, white, and brown. I'm a Neapolitan ice cream <laughs> of farmer's tans. Look at this shit. Banana chips and biscotti. Bis and I'm eating a second helping of mashed potatoes. Biscoff, don't. Are you licking the jar? No. <laughs> I'm, I'm not double dipping. <laughs> <laughs>